Welcome back to George. I just beat up an Italian. That's gonna be happening a lot in this series. Oh, it's il nuovo articolo è stato ottenuto. Yes. Yes. I seen that saving. Um, not too sure. I hope it is. Giorno Giovanna. Look at that donut hair. This, um... In the files of this game, they found a Koichi model. Uh, if you don't know, Koichi is a character from Part 4. He's one of the main characters of Part 4. And he's also featured at the beginning of Part 5. Part 5 is Vento Wario, which is this part. Um, but he's only at the beginning. He's only present before the Leaky Eye Luca bit, which you can, which you'd know, was only featured in this one as like a thing at the beginning saying this happened, but we're not showing it because it wouldn't be fun playing. Uh, so that implies that at some point in development, the Koichi part was going to be playable, but it was cut. I'm okay with it being cut though. The Koichi model they had looked really bad. And like I said before, the voice the voice actress who's playing Giorno voiced uh, Koichi in the Part 4 anime. And I think All Star Battle and Knights of Heaven, but that's neither here nor there. I have a dream, I have a dream, I want to be a gang star. I'm going to stop the drugs. Giorno Giovanna! <laughs> oh, my dad was a vampire! Why am I giving a French accent? Oh, Italian soundtrack! This means nothing to most people who will... I'm sure no one who speaks Japanese will watch this video. Yeah, stage two! Uh, let's go! It's, yeah! We're in Naples. Oh, it's... Ah, uh, Black Sabbath next, isn't it? Oh, the Black Sabbath arc's so good. Oh yeah, they're talking about Polpo. Yeah, this is the Black Sabbath arc. Yeah, there he is. I don't think he's that white in the manga though, but then again, there's a whole lot of color differences between the manga and different media. I assume we're not going to be playing most of the Black Sabbath arc, because, I mean, the Black Sabbath arc, yeah, I don't think that tr translate well to gameplay besides the fight at the end. The fight at the end, yes, for sure. <laughs> John no Giovanna! Yep, there's the lighter. Jorno's got to keep this lighter up for a light for 24 hours, I think? Then he can be accepted into the gang. Uh, he fails, but he still gets in the gang anyway. He becomes part of Bucciarati's gang. Which is, which, Bucciarati's gang is actually a subset of a different gang. It, it's kind of a weird name, but whatever. Yeah, this is this is the this is the arena where he fights um 
uh, Black Sabbath, isn't it? <laughs> He's so mad! Um, the Black Sabbath arc is actually, um, what, basically just one big reference to, um, the inception of the band Black Sabbath? Like, the stand Black Sabbath is named after the song, uh, but the arc is based off of the formation of the band. And, um, Polpo, the scene where Polpo bites off his own finger, which I don't think they showed in this, but it's, it's definitely a thing in the manga, that's just a reference to, um, oh, one of the members of Black Sabbath, I don't remember which, uh, accidentally cut off the tips, one of the tip, the tips of one of his fingers, uh, during his final day at work, uh, when that made him decide to choose, like, to change how he'd play the guitar. Um, it's just a nice reference. Well, it's not nice. The man lost his part of his fingers, but... <laughs> and that's the story of how Heavy Metal was born. Oh yeah, this guy. This is not a man. This is a stand. This is a Black Sabbath. Time to beat up Black Sabbath. Oh, he looks so cool. I love Black Sabbath. He's one of my favorite stands. Now, I don't remember how the Black Sabbath arc ended, but I think as long as we can hit him, we'll be fine. We can't hit him. We're timed. Oh, yep. I, I figured there'd be some kind of, um... Yeah, there we go. Didn't do any damage, but he got knocked down. Okay, no, he's just got a... Oh, all right. Listen to that Italiano. And by that I mean the soundtrack, not the people. Although the people are Italian too. Oh, damn it. Oh, that's probably telling me to press a button, but I don't know which one. Oh, boy. I'm just pressing all the buttons because I don't know if that... All right. Oh, oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Can I... Nope. Oh, boy. This is bad. Uh, oh, oh. Okay, I can still do that. Okay, I should... get gold experience away. That's... He keeps lunging sideways for some reason. Okay, secret factor. <laughs> You'll probably hear a whole bunch of, um... A ho oh no, a whole bunch of times throughout this, you'll probably hear a bunch of, like, these people screaming out band names, like, uh, obviously, GOLD EXPERIENCE and the STICKY FINGERS have already happened. Black Sabbath is gonna happen at some point, probably. Um, oh, damn it. You'll also, there's gonna be sex or pistols and, um, um, Moody Blues, probably. Oh, damn. Uh, Aerosmith, that's one. Purple Haze. I'm tr oh, damn it. Because I'm trying to name all the stands, I'm not focusing on where the birds are. Yeah, that's a stand arrow. No, I'm dead. Black Sabbath has a stand arrow in its mouth. Yeah, remember the scene in Vento Oreo where Jorno died in the second fight? And that's where the story ended. Kind of bold. Okay, well, we already saw this. Oh, damn it! How do you dodge that? It takes out so much health! I'm pretty sure you can't break out of that, by the way. Ah! Oh, oh, you meant to shake. I thought it was telling you to mash a button. 
Here we go. Ah! Okay, you can force him off. Alright. I think I... I kind of like how Jorno says his mudas more than Dio's. I mean, Dio puts more force into it. Jorno's is kind of like... Uh, Jorno's, he kind of, like... It feels like he means it more, if that makes sense. There you go. Black Sabbath, don't go in the sun. Uh, like, Dio's just like, MUDA MUDA MUDA! And, and Jorno's are like, MUDA MUDA! Like, obviously... There's not as much force behind it, but the way he says it just kind of sounds more like he means it. Which is kind of weird since Dio is like this like hell bent on this like evil man who's hell bent on like getting what he wants. Uh, and Giorno is just this 15 year old who doesn't like drugs. Also, Diego's mudas. <laughs> he doesn't do them much, but when he does them, they they certainly aren't good. But my favorite Dio sound effect is the re. Uh, I mean, yeah, Dio's. Giorno does, and Diego do the re as well, but Dio does it best. That one. Dio's is like Eri! that was bad. <laughs> Dio's is like, I can't do it. John Jono's one kind of sucks. Diego's does he does it once, and really we haven't. And since you know that Steel Ball Run hasn't had an anime yet, we haven't heard him say re. Um, I don't think he says it at all in the game though. Like he has a voice actor in the game, and we hear him muda in that. But I don't think he does the re. I mean, it makes sense. The he did. I think he only says Diego only s does the re like twice. I think alternate world Diego says it once, but base world Diego says it twice. I think. Yeah, no. Alternate world Diego. It's like Lucy comes. He f he realizes what Lucy is trying to do. He goes, Eddie, get away! Diego's world is such a better arc than Dio's world. There he is, the funny pulpus. <laughs> right, bye. He does indeed have a stand.